go now. Yes. No, not at all. Good. Whoa. I then realised that we were doing this all wrong. That is presumably a pickup truck. Yes, yes you've guessed. and four-wheel drive. Yes. yes, right. Why don't you go out there, cut away the pull the thing back, and drive it out using the engine? It's a good idea. Because what you don't do when you drive a car is use the engine in someone else's car. You use the one in your own car. Yes. So while Hammond unwrapped his car. James and I turned our attention to his Fiat Panda. I bought it from an English family who had bought a house in Tuscany. And this little Pepe. <laughs> Pepe the Panda. And they loved it. Do you know, I know everything about this family. This has been used for picking their friends up from Pisa Airport. Oh, undoubtedly. And their friends are the editor of The Guardian. Yes. Tony Blair. Sherry Blair. Sting. Alan Yentob. Yes. Every single lightweight socialist in Britain has been in this car. I bet they made their own olive oil as well. <laughs> oh, no, we're socialists, really. As they are sitting with their Prosecco, we really care. We're raising awareness. Raising awareness means I'm doing absolutely nothing at all. I bet they had a little man in the village who... As the pet shop boy ranted on, Hammond finally finished unwrapping his pickup truck. <laughs> Unfortunately, though... It wouldn't start. Now. So, after getting brained by the waves for a while, he waded ashore again and came up with a harebrained scheme where the Fiat would be an anchor and the Jeep a tug. Right, parking brake is off and I am in neutral. Right, you're ready. Uh, good, I am as well. I'm taking up the slack. Here we go. That's looking good. No. No. Clarkson, you're pulling me into the sea. Clarkson! Stop! Stop! Well, why are you there? You've pulled me in the sea, you muppet! Oh, shit. Thanks to Hammond's stupid idea, the cameras in my car were completely ruined. So, we ordered a taxi, sent him into town to get a proper tow truck. And when he returned, he asked Jeremy, of all people, to operate its winch. Are you moving? Yes! Yes, I am! You see, you mock people who like winching and stuff, but don't tell me you're not enjoying this. It is incredible how much power you can get out of a little tiny electric winch. Then you think... Is he having some sort of winch fantasy? I'll have to turn him off. I'm just sitting here, making sure that LED doesn't go red, in which case the winch is overheating, which he seems to think is incredibly exciting. Jeremy, you need to stop. You're going to pull me into the, the shelter. The only thing is, though we have done well, actually, is these three cars we've got, because they're all designed to go off-road, and yet they couldn't be more different. Jeremy, you're pulling me through the building! That is true. It is a, it's a good trio of cars. With no... You've got mine, which is bought by people who like cruising the streets of San Francisco and Key West and Brighton and Sydney, and then yours, which is bought by people... Jeremy! ..who want to feel better Stop. about themselves. Yeah. So if you have your second home whilst people in the world are homeless and starving, it's OK as long as you have a small fear. Oh, shit. Hammond, you moron! Uh, well, I couldn't do anything. I got no steering. I was well, talking. Why didn't you tell us? I was yelling on the radio. You pulled this me This family has building. loved this car since 1991, and you turn up from bloody Wales or North America or wherever it is you've been, and you've already ruined it. Listen, it's been a bit of a cluster thing. We need to work it all out. We need communications properly organised. What is you that? Need to... That? It's my ladder. <sighs> you bought something you can't get into or out of without a ladder. Well, it's very high up. Hammond, that's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's brilliant. Look at it. That was like the best Christmas I've ever had, unwrapping it out at sea. I was like, ooh, can't wait. And then I saw a little bit of a flame. Ah. And what is that? A skull-faced fox abomination. Look at it. That is inspiration. It's already got nature pictures on it. It's brilliant. Doesn't that cheer you up a bit? No, no it, it doesn't, doesn't cheer me up. Yes, it does. It does. It makes you feel happy. 
So far, Hammond's pickup had wrecked everything on the beat and all my cameras and cost us 10 hours. So we told him to shut up again and get it working. 